taking a look here back inside Fisher Stadium as Lehigh, they defeat Lafayette tonight by a score of 18 to 11. Mike Ventola with you, and it was the Mountain Hawks pretty much about the bulk of this evening, though Lafayette impressive in the second half as they at least got as close as four goals at one point, but then Lehigh was able to pull away making the final score 18 to 11. But congratulations to the Mountain Hawks, especially for Coach Cassis, now tied for most wins in team history at Lehigh. So take a look at your final leaders today. How about Tommy Schelling, him and Christian Millet with a combined nine goals. Schelling with five, Millet with four. On the other side for Lafayette, Coleman Cram with three goals, Peter Lehman with two goals. So with those being your leaders and not in, both leaders here, oppressive on uh, both sides. So, so for, you take a look at those two as well for Lehigh with Schelling and with Christian Mule. I mean, they also too were assisted uh, by some other really good goal scorers and Cole Kirst who had four goals. And also too, you had four others with individual goals. You take a look at the final stats here, score. 18-11, obviously. Shots, Lehigh with 47. Lafayette with 33. But the saves, Ryan Ness, despite allowing 18 goals, had 15 saves. But the ground balls were a big difference, 45-26 to in favor of Lehigh and the faceoffs. I mean, Mike Sisselberger and Connor Gaffney for Lehigh were very good tonight as Lafayette struggled um, at the faceoff. And that's evident, too, of where we were at in regards to the score. But that's going to do it here from Fisher Stadium. But if you enjoyed this matchup between Lehigh and Lafayette, you'll see it on Sunday, a 12 o'clock start. These two teams at the Ulrich Sports Complex in Bethlehem on the campus of Lehigh University. So that's going to do it here from Fisher Stadium. For John Sabino, our director and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Mike Ventola saying so long. And thanks for tuning in to some great Patriot League lacrosse right here on ESPN.